Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, in a great little book uh, written by the Librarian of Congress, James H. Billington. And it's fire in the minds of men. It starts off in the 1770s, basically in Paris, where they're in Starbucks in Paris in the 1770s, and they're talking about revolution and how that same strain of revolution went through the French Revolution and how it was maintained through a series series of primarily secret societies, but sometimes not so secret societies, on through the Russian Revolution. You can see I've read this a couple different times. I always mark it up. This is before I really started writing stuff in the front of my books like I like to now, but I did some here. <coughs> Excuse me, but I... Uh, just, uh, you know, would mark the pages. But, you know, it's hard. He, this guy's not a conspiracy theorist. He's one of the top geniuses and scholars in all the world. He's the librarian of Congress. And he talks about how when, you know, everybody's protesting the Vietnam War and stuff, he's just looking at French articles. And so this is why his, the back, I'm, I'm reading through, this is his um, footnotes in the back. And they are just amazing. And so I'm reading through his footnotes and I'm learning so much about, you know, Herder and uh, uh, Franz Liszt and others, you know, that were in secret societies that were all part of these, you know, plots. You can just see, I mean, there's dozens upon dozens, if not hundreds of pages, hundreds of different small print footnotes just fantastic where the term circular comes from was because the uh, uh, order of the illuminati had a circle with a dot was the uh symbol of, of the illuminati circle and a dot in the middle and that's the reason like you see cbs circle and a dot and you'll notice the democratic party circle and the d in the middle it's god well, should i even go there and uh that's a whole other, another thing. And uh, so, so a circular, they would pass out things. They called that a circular. It came from the Illuminati. Or the, the, where the term May Day comes from. That the Illuminati was founded May 1st, 1776. And so that's why it's a distress signal. That's why communists and Antifa and all this celebrate May Day so huge. Because it comes from the order of the Illuminati. George Washington talked about the Illuminati. He was against it. He was not Adam Weishaupt, all this crazy stuff there. John Adams, they wrote John Adams a letter, the Illuminati did, saying, can we come to the United States of America? They called it Eleusius, like the Eleusian fields of the Greeks. And uh, he basically said, yes, the uh, uh, Foreign and Sedition Acts had to a large degree were about the French Revolution and as a byproduct, the Illuminati. Thomas Jefferson talked about Adam Weishaupt in a very positive sense. And... Uh, which I can understand why he did. That's uh, I've done a video on that, as a matter of fact, on why he did. But I would disagree with him. And uh, then like Seth Payson, you had uh, Timothy Dwight, who's Jonathan Edwards' grandson, who was president. Was he president of what? Princeton, Yale, something like that. He gets up and preaches against the Illuminati. Uh, Samuel Morse, whose son did the Morse code, such a huge inventor. He got up and preached against the Illuminati and, and all this. this. Phenomenal, phenomenal book. This is not conspiracy theory. This is just all total history. Highly recommend it. God bless you. History, political science, Russian studies. Uh, excellent. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.